In this video, I'm going to walk through six user sites that were submitted for review. I'll tell you what I like about them, what could be improved about them, and then at the end, I've got a small announcement. All right, let's jump right in. Hey, what's up? My name is Chris, and welcome to Coding in Public. Now, a couple notes about these reviews. Number one, I'm going to be kind. Uh, my coding and public site and my blog are both in desperate need of need needing to be redone. And so uh, I'm not going to be overly harsh or critical. Uh, lots of you submitted sites, and I just tried to pick a few that look like they would be uh, good to walk through. Secondly, I have not done this before. So uh, this is not a typical video I've done. I don't know that I'll do this again. I just thought it might be interesting, especially in light of the announcement I'll make kind of towards the end here. Uh, and then finally, uh, this is the first time I've walked through these. So I am not uh, walking through these with a lot of thoughts already. I kind of thought this might be more like a recorded live stream where I can just walk you through my thoughts. If this isn't your thing, no worries. This is not a typical video for me, nor will it probably ever be, but I thought it might be kind of a fun uh, one-off video. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. And the first one I grabbed was something called Steve Ayo. Steve Ayo, hopefully that's right. My first impression is I, I like the color scheme. I like the fact that you pulled in the selection color here as well. Um, let's see this dark mode, nice. I wonder why this isn't up here. For some reason, this looks like it should be on the same level to me. Um, looks like you're using something, maybe scroll position or intersection observer to apply a background to that nav, which is nice because it stays stuck to the top of the page. And I really like this background as well. I do wonder what happens here if you turn on reduced motion. Let's do that prefers reduced motion. Looks like nothing changes. So that might be something else to think about um, is if somebody has that on, how might you want to change the effect on the site? Uh, looks like same thing here. These are just moving very quickly and uh, prefers reduced motion being on. It looks like maybe you could do something with this text, although I do like this text. Uh, I'd also want some way to pause this, like even if I just hover over this for it to pause, maybe that's what it's doing right now. Hey, nice. Well, then especially on mobile, you want to make sure that there's a way to pause it because otherwise it's just going to keep ticking. And that moves pretty quickly to read everything there, especially if somebody's trying to add it to a cart. They read everything, they go to add it to a cart in mobile, and then it switches and they have to kind of pull over. You don't want to frustrate them. So having some way of changing these, and since it looks like it's just these two things, right? Yeah, I would just have a tab here or something like, yeah, one and then the other, and they can just select which one they prefer. Um, same thing here. Uh, it's fine to have these moving automatically, but having some way of pausing them other than hovering only uh, would be helpful. Uh, let's see, these are nice. I like the design features here. Let's see, these buttons are cool. Um, what does it look like on dark mode down here? Yeah, I like that animation too. All these animations look great. I like this green color being pulled in just slightly as an accent. This, what is it, 60, 30, 10 rule. So this would be your 10, I, I suppose. And this would be your 30 and the black, these blacks would share that uh, 60%. So overall, I, I really like it. Um, I'm not sure what you're using as far as um, a tech stack. Oops, I just deleted something on your site, sorry. <laughs> Let's come back here. Uh, Looks like you're using WordPress as at least as your back end. So Google Analytics, nice. Currently being tracked at this very moment. <laughs> um, all right, well, I'll stop playing around here in the console. But um, overall, I really like the idea. I think I would just, looks like you also could use a favicon up here as well. Let's actually check tabbing really quickly too. So I'd customize these tabs, uh, these tabbing experiences. What happens if I hit spacebar here? nothing so this probably should be a button i don't know what this is up here but i should be able to hit space bar and interact with that as well so it's the link um, if this is not taking you to a page it should be a button uh, looks like this oh this is your nav button on mobile um, so anything that's interactive make a button anything that takes you to a different section either of the page or the site then you can make that a link so overall those are a couple thoughts i hope that's helpful for you all right, let's come to Lavon. I know, I think that's how you say your name. Um, Lavon, you've been a, a kind watcher for many months, and I appreciate all your kind comments. I think you said that this uh, site you didn't really like or you needed to do a lot of work on it, so I'll be kind. But overall, I like it. I like the design color scheme. I like this custom scroll bar, too. It looks like it's obscuring this a little bit, but um, and uh, ooh, I really like this dark mode. That sticks out where suddenly here, you don't notice that. Um, so I like that a lot. 
This is fun and interactive. Uh, this is another one where I'd wonder what happens with prefers reduced motion on. Prefers reduced motion right there. Looks like nothing happens. So that might be something else to think about is just maybe reducing the speed of this at the very least on, uh, on devices that prefer that. I like that these slide in. That's a little quick for my liking, but uh, overall I like that as a, a uh, feature. And I like these sliding overlays too. That's cool. Uh, it tells you what you built it with, a link out to them. I'd probably make the entire card a link rather than this little button just because, uh, you know, especially on mobile, not knowing that you have to tap that little button. I realize it's an icon that says out, but, you know, really all of it should be able to be clicked uh, would be my preference. So a simple site here, but I think overall nice. I like these focus states that they kind of tie in. Uh, they're more custom than the default ones. Uh, once these slide in, though, I think I probably would leave them in. There's no reason for them to keep sliding in and out as I scroll your page. So I don't know what you're using here, if you're using like an intersection observer or scroll position, but uh, I have done some stuff on intersection observers, and you can just unobserve these once they slide in. And that also is, is better for performance as well. Uh, so I won't click through all your things that you're working on. Let's actually check out the tab situation too. If we start tabbing, yeah, so that's something else to work on. So I don't even get to this at all. Um, see if I keep tabbing, it's just taking me to these. Um, but I've got no visual indicator until I get to the forum. Not even on this button do I see that I'm selecting it. I do down here, so that's nice. Come back up top. Oh, I got to jump to content, skip to content, but it looks like maybe it's not optimized for dark mode. So let's try again. Oh, and I've actually got a scroll bar too. I didn't see that. So that might be something to think about is skipping to content, making that dark mode available. Um, the about skills work contract work on light mode. So maybe that's the problem. It's just dark mode. They're barely visible. Oh, they are visible, just not much. So maybe making those a little bit easier. I like that that pops up with switch to dark theme when you select it. So that's cool. All right, those are a couple of thoughts. Hopefully that's helpful. All right, uh, Sukpret, Sukpreet, sorry, I don't know how to say your name, um, but thanks so much for sending this in. Uh, I think maybe we interacted before because this looks kind of familiar. Um, first of all, I like all these kind of highlighting effects. Those are cool and that they're different. I wonder how you're accomplishing that. And I like that hover state too. That's nice. Um, blue color theme is cool. Let's see, I like these uh, hover states as well. Um, so lots of nice little kind of small interactions. This might be another one where as you tab through it, you'd want to think through how these uh, how these look, and you can customize this a little bit. Uh, let's also come in here and let's see, do we have an accessibility tree? And I'll click this right here. So these are non-landmarks. So it looks like maybe some of this could be laid out a little bit better. These are articles. Um, the whole thing is inside a section though. So heading one is your projects. Let's, let's see, do you have any heading twos? Let's kill this. Let's search for in here, H2s, no H2s. So I think what I would do is just think through the structure. I know this is just a single page, but maybe make an H1. If it's not this, then make something that's hidden uh, to visual sighted users, but maybe screen readers only. Um, and Google could see it too that says, hey, this is what the site is. And then maybe have these, this is like an introduction section and this is a project section so that your homepage at least has some breakout. I realize this is kind of a, you know, a, a really small site right now, but as you, as you work on it, that's one thing I think about. Uh, let's see what tech stack you are using. Um, let's see, publishing to Netlify, which I can see already from the domain. Let's see, did I see Astro in here? Astro, okay. Well, bonus points for Astro, so now I like everything about your site. <laughs> I'm a big Astro fan. Um, the other thing, it, it did look like you're using, um, oh, there's your tech stack, nice. It did look like you were using some React components on your homepage. Um, I like this color scheme as well. Look at all this fun stuff. A website to the moon, Tailwind you're using, evidently headless UI. I'm not sure what that is. I'm guessing it's some kind of Tailwind uh, UI components. Here icons, big fan. Um, so cool, Svelte. Oh, I thought I saw React, but um, nice. Well, thanks for passing this along. Hopefully some of that was helpful. I don't feel like I had too much to say. Uh, I like the, the structure here, but thinking through those H2s, H1s, that kind of stuff might be helpful for you. All right, over to Wilson. Uh, first of all, 
you're a full stack developer and uh, I've got no business <laughs> reviewing a computer science uh, degrees uh, website, but uh, let's, let's do it anyhow. Uh, I like these hover states, so that's nice. Um, this blog, let's see. Uh, let's see what's going on here. So you are using React. Okay, I was going to say, I wonder what you're using here. So if I search for like grid or something, uh, I'm guessing that's just React. Let's come in here, look at your different components. Yeah, so I'm guessing, yeah, so all of this is is from React. I was wondering how you were filtering those live. Um, coming here to contact, so it's a fairly basic site, but uh, I like the simplicity. I think uh, you've you've got some customization. I like how those buttons kind of pop up um, on tabbing, so that's nice. Looks like you are from Colorado. I love hiking as well whenever I get the chance, so I've hiked a, a few 14ers, so maybe next time I'm out in Colorado Springs, I'll, uh, I'll hit you up. Um, but this, uh, I like the site, I like how basic it is. Uh, I think a lot of times we can oversimplify, overcomplicate things just in a, in a way to try to make things look more fancy. And I just like how this is really basic. I know exactly who you are. I know what your, um, job is, what you, what your degree is and kind of how to get in contact with you. So I don't need to know a whole lot more if this is more like a pitch site for who you are and what you've done. Um, let's see, let's check out your dark mode. Yeah. So Really nice, small little interactions. Uh, I guess one picky thing would be, I don't love how the sidebar, everything shifts because this scroll bar comes in. So one thing you could do, even though this might be a little hacky, would be um, to either just account for the scroll bar width and try to move everything on the home and I think contact page over a little bit. Uh, or what you could do is uh, have that scroll bar always showing, which that might be kind of weird, but I don't know. For whatever reason, just jump up between those. I'm not a huge fan of that, but... Um, overall, uh, I like the stuff. Typed React component. Let's read this together. So I, mean, I, lo I love the styling. I love how simple it is. I like the color scheme that it's just like this off blue uh, for everything. So with a little purple, nice uh, selection. So I don't have too much to say. Uh, I like it. I like its simplicity uh, quite a bit. All right. Nicholas, another person I have no right to uh, criticize here or say anything about. You're a full stack engineer yourself. Uh, I do wonder... Since that image took a while to load in, it could just be my connection, but let's load this again and see how large this is, size. So this is a pretty big image here, and I think a lot of it is all these are PNGs, so even just making these JPEGs will reduce the size quite a bit. Uh, obviously, you could also add like WebP or AVIF format as well, um, but uh, and maybe blocking this out with like an aspect ratio 16 by nine and giving it a default height so that it at least blocks out a section. Um, and uh, default height and width so it blocks out a section, and then you can overwrite that with CSS uh, once everything loads in. Uh, I like this, uh, again, customizing the selection. I do think as you tab through this, you could customize that experience a little bit uh, more. Let's come up top here, same thing up top. I mean, you can see what it is, but I like those to be customized if I can. Um, obviously, you know what you're doing, um, so I don't have a whole lot to say about the actual stack you're using. Um, I love that you build these projects or list these projects out saying what, you know, what they use. So like here, uh, React Framework or Gulp or whatever, and that you're getting links to them. You're giving links to live demos when you have them. Uh, it's a really good overview just kind of of what you do, what you're good at, what you enjoy doing. So I like all that. Uh, I do wonder as far as the structure, semantic structure here. So this, okay, is an H1 is work experience. Let's see what uh, this one is down here. Slices of the internet, another H1. So I would definitely, you know, you just need one H1. So whether that's your name or uh, maybe you have a hidden H1 that just says something like uh, full stack software engineer or something like that. Um, and then these should be H2s. And then you could have these be H3s. Maybe this software engineer would be an H3. So just structuring the site a little bit differently. In fact, if I come to this accessibility, uh, it is giving me these sections, um, and I'm trying to remember if there's a way to actually check here. Let's also work, um, hit this performance real fast, just to, to double check that that isn't my machine just really struggling with that image. Yeah, so it looks like this is blocking stuff quite a bit, so that's something I work on, um, just reducing that image size. 
All right, so those are a couple of thoughts. I mean, you're clearly a, a very skilled <laughs> developer, so I don't have a whole lot to say, but uh, I'm going to check out some of your things you built too. All right, and lastly, um, I don't know how to say your name. Let's see, Saraba. Uh, that's a horrible pronunciation, I'm sure, but uh, I like the the fact that you've pulled in these colors here. Um, and uh, from Poon, Poon, India. I'm not sure if that's how you say that, but um, I like these hover states. Those are nice. Uh, let's see. Except it looks like it's only when you hover on the actual inside image that you get that. So maybe you've got something going on, on the the border here, but I would just make it anywhere here that you hover that that shows. Um, I wonder how this performs on mobile though. Uh, let's try it. So let me pull this up and let's switch to something like a pixel. So, okay, so at least they're showing all the time on mobile. So that's good. Um, let's come back up this way. Let's start tabbing through stuff as, as well. Um, and again, let's look like, these look like some kind of nested button or something. What's this? So that's a button and a link together. So I wouldn't do that. I would just have it as a link out like this. And then you can just get rid of this button altogether and then click on this and it just takes you down. So just style that button a little bit differently. So the buttons are used for interactive things. Links are used for jumping sections or going to a different web page. Other than that, oh, what just happened? I refreshed the page. We lost it. <laughs> Did I zoom out? Did I delete something? Let's refresh from the source. I don't know what's going on. Well, something just happened. So uh, I'd look into that too. I'm not sure what it is exactly. Let's see, let's look in here. If you got something being logged, I'm not sure what that is. Um, looks like your width got off somehow. What's this doing? All right, sorry, I'm not sure what happened. I broke it, <laughs> I broke your site. But um, overall, I like the color scheme. I like the projects that you've listed out. Um, I like the fact that you've just got these simple languages. Sometimes people list like React 60%, Tailwind 30%. I'm never really sure what that means. So. I like the fact you just said, hey, here's what I here's what I work with. Um, it might be worth grouping these a little bit. So like maybe putting the design and CSS together with SAS and Tailwind and then putting JavaScript stuff together. I mean, HTML is helpful too, but I mean, uh, some of these are, are a little bit more basic, but as you gain extra things, you could drop some of these more basic ones. Um, but uh, overall, great job. Let's check out, oh, somehow I fixed it too. I just realized that. Uh, let's also check out the accessibility if I were to just use a screen reader. And this is another good thing to do on any of your sites. So if I hit Command, Function, and F5, it will turn that on. And I'll drag this over here. Voice. Entering Sorb Daswent, Web Developer Web Content. My Work Button Group Banner. Visited, Link, My Work. Chrome has new window. Link, Visit Projects Greater Than, Main. You are currently on a link. To click this link, Press Control Option Space. Visit it. Link. Visit app greater than. You visit it. Link. Visit website greater than. Link. Visit website greater than. Link. Visit website greater than. Voice over off. All right. So just tapping through those quickly, you can see how it doesn't really give you any indication of what you're actually clicking on. So that's another thing to think about. And whatever your site is, if you if you think about the site structure, making making sure that your H1 is kind of your main thing. You only have one per page. Uh, then the main sections are H2s. Everything inside that is an H3. So that's one thing to think about. That tabbing experience, the selection of text experience, um, turning on voiceover and just walking through your site as if you can't see it and making sure that it's accessible. Those are a couple things to think about. Using buttons and links the proper way, um, being able to pull in color scheme like you are here. I really like that. Um, so Anyhow, thanks so much for letting me do this for everyone. I know this was a little bit more of a casual video, but I still hope it was a help and helped you kind of think through how you might do this on your own sites. Now, the one brief announcement is just that I will probably take off uh, sometime uh, over the next couple of weeks, so maybe a week or so, even two weeks, uh, in part because I want to actually redo my sites. I'm not going to make them complex or look a whole lot different. Uh, the code's just really poor, and I want to eventually get around. I think I threw my coding in public site uh, in an afternoon, and I've never gone back to it. So um, I hope to do that over the next couple of weeks, so be patient with me if it takes me a little bit to get some videos out. Uh, but I do have some fun and large videos coming out soon that I hope will be a big help. All right, thanks so much for sticking with me through this uh, little bit of a different video. And again, I will catch you in the next one. Happy coding.